Hey guys, welcome to my Nano Aquascaping Gallery. My name is Yuris and in today's video we are finally having a look on the Botanica Boutique Sanctuary, that little tiny moss terrarium. But first, let's go through all of them and see what has happened. Uh, starting on the right side, we have number two, which is the Duan Nail Glass Air 151525, uh, the Vabicusa Aqua Decor, doing super well. Uh, as you can see, the second Bucifalandra flower is open now. Uh, the new moss edition on the Bucifalandra rock looking good, definitely a lot better than the previous one. Also, the hydrocuddle tripartita in the front right corner has grown a little bit as well. Uh, we see a lot of tiny critters. I don't know what they are, but since uh, yeah, the last maintenance, I have added some more nutrients to the water. Maybe also because of new moss, some new life has been introduced to this little tiny aquarium. It's cool just to see things going on in there. Over here we have the number three, which is the shallow 2020 8 cm Duaneo glass container with a beautiful Sansui stone. Uh, I have used it in my UNS 5N Nano Desktop Ivagumi, which is close to 400,000 views. Really loved that video, filmed it together with Logan, so it's something uh, special to me. So you have seen the making of video last week of this one. Uh, there is not so much to share about it. I mean, that's moss that doesn't grow too fast. So we had a little bit of a dieback here and there, but some species, you know, are doing better than others and they are, you know, stepping in for those that are not doing so well. Uh, might add a little bit of moss here and there just to fill in the gaps. Here we have the 20-20-20 centimeter dry start, the lazy dry start. As you can see, the, the cosmetic sand almost completely covered with the Monte Carlo. It is really uh, growing like crazy. And I said lazy dry soil because the Monte Carlo in here, I even haven't planted into the soil. I just cut it in small pieces and sprinkle it on top of the soil. Super dense carpet and yeah, I already trimmed it once back have to do it again in the near future. But here you see a tiny little new addition to the Nano Gallery, uh, which is this uh, Liquido Design tiny little canister filter. I did live unboxing just a few days ago. Uh, I haven't attached it yet. I will do it in a separate video uh, when I have trimmed back the Monte Carlo, equipped it with a filter and then filled with water. So then I will introduce also some livestock to this one, but more on that in a separate video. And on the very left side, we have here the mini pond, 30 by 18 by 12 centimeters. We have in the corners, Starogani repens doing well. Uh, a little pro tip here, I cut back the leaves of the Starogani repens, like 50%. Uh, this is going to help the plant to adapt because it doesn't have too much evaporation there. It's doing okay, uh, it is uh, adjusting and I see new growth coming. Uh, the Hygrophil Araguaya finally has started flowering. Yes, I've been waiting for that. So cool. And there is a ton of new flowers coming in the near future. Uh, the Pogostomon erectus, the tiny little bush here in the middle section, is growing well, but until we can see flowers there, I told you we have to wait until somewhere up here. It takes uh, some time. Uh, other new additions to that were some Hygrophila siamensis 53b. Uh, it is a little bit pale because it came from uh, my Immerse setup where, you know, maybe these conditions are not ideal, but it's adjusting, it's coloring up, it's growing, it's doing fine. A little bit here and there in between is some Bulbitis deformis, which is the dwarf version of the Bulbitis fern. And this plant is not really an aquatic plant. It doesn't really grow underwater. It does best above water in a situation like this. Uh, I see signs of hope. I say hope for Mordania Kaysak. Uh, I've been really, how to say, disappointed by the wrinkled uh, growth. I've been trimming it back uh, several times. So I might give it one more trim back. And if it keeps growing back wrinkled, I think I'm just going to remove all the wrinkled plants and replace them with something else. Uh, this is it, a little update on the gallery. And now, without any further ado, let's dive in into the Botanica Boutique, that little sanctuary, that little, little mosterarium. Gonna do an unboxing and a quick making of, and I'm gonna see you after that. Here we have the Botanica Boutique Mosserium. It is called Rainforest Sanctuary. 
the Botanica Boutique, they have a range of those Moseriums, uh, like three different types, some sort of closed, open, mid-range. What we have here is the Moserium, is the rainforest, it's closed. Uh, it's the one that you have probably seen uh, you can see it on the back, it has this raindrop. Yeah, I would say without any further ado, let's open up the box and see what is inside, what we get provided, and then of course, escape it. So, besides the beautiful packaging, we have two boxes in here. Um, this is the top. Let's have a look inside first. This is the glass top and as you can see it has this sort of like a water drop on the top of it that will allow the water mist that kind of evaporates to condensate and drop down from the middle to be distributed evenly around all the mosses and plants inside. So we're putting this aside, uh, we get a little spray bottle in here uh, that's handy. I really like the, the black version, so we will need that. And here comes the base, and this is where you get a lot of differences. So uh, the, the Rainforest Sanctuary, they have different types of base models. And the one I got here, if I'm correct, this is the Carrara model, which is made from marble. And I think that is going to fit into my kitchen studio quite well. And inside we have the Carrara base. We have the silicone inlay that is specifically made for moss. I will get to that in a second. And a little cloth to yeah, just wipe away your fingerprints from the glass dome. Now let's have a closer look on the marble uh, bottom plate. It has like a cork felt <laughs> underneath so it sits smooth and soft like a little cushion on any surface that you might put it on. Uh, that is nice and this is made from Nice solid white marble. I kind of like the looks of it uh, with the dark countertop material here that this will be a nice fit and also the dark wood that I have all around the place. Next what goes inside is this moss inlay and that one is quite special. As you can see you have like a little hill here on the top with the they look like little teeth uh, but they are there to hold the moss in place and that one doesn't require any substrate at all just you put the moss on top you moisture it and the excess water just runs uh, to the site because of the yeah, round shape and as you can see on the bottom it's like you know like a dome inside here and it goes inside of the Carrara base now we can put the glass dome on top and see what it looks like so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a decent size, so you can definitely put some plants in there. The only thing I'm missing here is some sort of uh, rotating for ventilation vents, so you can control the humidity inside. And they clearly say here in the care section of the little manual that comes uh, with it, uh, that when you see condensation inside, to open it once in a while to get some fresh air, so I would do that maybe once a day. And if you have excess water, it is going to be in that silicone, like in that rim on the outside. And then, I don't know, you can use some paper towels, napkins and remove it from there. So to escape this, I selected some moss. So I just went outside. I wanted to invest zero bucks. So I just went around my house. I looked in the backyard. Uh, and just collected some mosses uh, in the streets. Uh, when you do the same, just make sure you don't live in a protected area where this is not allowed. And uh, yeah, and if you do collect moss uh, in the wild, just make sure you take only small pieces, you make sure you don't take everything. So now let's get into the actually scaping action. So let's remove the glass dome. And here we have the silicone inlay. And my idea was to, yes, of course, use moss, but as an aquascaper, just to have moss was too little. So I selected some small stones and I have them over here. Uh, they are mini landscape rock and uh, going to have like a little Iwagumi inside 
the rainforest sanctuary. So I think just arranging those two rocks kind of in the middle. Let's put the glass dome on top. Um, so the drop is going to be on top of the rock. So that is interesting. Uh, yeah, why not keep it absolutely in the center to make sure it just distributes the water in all kinds of directions. So the water flows down the rock and is then distributed within the moss. And I think we have here a little tiny, yeah, uh, I would call it almost like an Iwagumi-like layout with those two stones. Let me take some small tweezers for this and then basically start planting. A lot of this moss I selected on the streets. Uh, I don't know, we have a ton of this moss growing on the, on the roofs uh, of the houses around the place where I live. And the people, when there is a storm, they just fall off the roof and you can find nice chunks of moss like this uh, just laying on the street. And uh, yeah, the way um, I'm going to use it, I will just simply uh, arrange the moss around the rocks, try to fill in the space as compact as possible. And because of the, all the different patterns of the moss, this is hopefully going to fill in nicely. What else do we have here? Ah, this is really... Uh, Difficult to choose if you have too many choices. For the foreground, I definitely want to stay with this very small mosses. This looks like mini miniature grass. Also looks kind of cool. Let's try and wedge this in between the rocks. So we have little, some little grassy grass here in between the rocks growing. Uh, I don't want, or should I just make it completely wild, like absolutely no structure, just fill in the entire space with mosses, let them grow in and become bushy. But I think also little alternation colors might look good. I guess I'm overthinking it a little bit. So what you want to do is simply limit yourself don't have as much moss as i have in here because then you have difficult time to choose the moss that you want to use having a good pair of small uh, tweezers definitely helps to yeah, kind of fill in the small gaps here in between the individual patches so yeah i think i'm gonna stick to this very narrow type of moss around the base on the outside. So, again, this is really zen-like, arranging all those little moss cushions on that base. Something that I have to mention right now, it is a little bit flimsy, uh, I would say, uh, because the moss doesn't hold by its own. And I'm used to, when planting aquariums, to insert the moss into a substrate. So maybe having some sort of soil mud painted on the top of that silicon inlay would help, would have helped with that. I don't know. Um, it is a little experiment, we will see. I'm already having fun. Uh, it's, I almost feel like uh, travel back in time to when I escaped the biospheres because that is something completely new to me, something I haven't done before and that's quite, yeah, I don't know, refreshing to do something you haven't done before. Okay, and in the back, I would like to have something that grows a little bit taller. This is really nice. Here you can see the moss is, is having some flowers or maybe already actually like the fruit and it's been flowering before. The same size, same time.
uh, slowly it is starting to look like something. Um, if you give you, if I give you a little spin, I have used this. I don't know what that is. Uh, collected this uh, literally uh, in the parking space and this little grass in between uh, some stones. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how this is going to turn out in the back. If this plant is going to grow too big, I will trim it down or then maybe just replace the entire patch. Um, yeah, we have some little gaps remaining here in the back. Um, trying to fill them in as good as I can with little portions of something. So the planting is done and I could of course add more and more details to the scape, but I think it is quite cool as it is right now. So now let's give it a good spray and uh, and close the dome and see how things go. But actually, I mean, that's moss. It's going to look almost the same all the time. I guess slowly over time, things are going to fill in a little bit more. Certain species could start flowering. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious with this little grass because it's maybe growing faster than everything else. And then it could, uh, I don't know, start growing into other species. Make sure I have no fingerprints on the outside. In our little rainforest, moss terrarium or mossarium uh, is finished. Here we are guys. I hope you enjoyed the making of video of that Botanica Boutique. Let me take off the lid one more time and give you a brief update on this one. It is not doing so well, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know what the reason is. I, I saw a lot of moisture on the inside of the glass. I have to admit, I haven't been spraying it too much. Uh, I think all in all, it, the moss kind of dried out and then I sprayed it too much. So the little grass here, the terrestrial grass, doesn't work in uh, this type of setup. It's definitely too moist for it. Uh, for the moss, uh, some of the moss is looking good. You can see in the back, it's nice, lush and green. And some of the moss that has suffered is developing new growth. Uh, a lot of the moss uh, in the initial foreground turned kind of dark green, almost brownish. And yeah, that little terrestrial fern here really adds a nice um, contrast in there. So I'm thinking to rescape it very soon. Um, or should I keep it like this and try to optimize the conditions? What do you guys think? Drop a comment down below if I should rescape that one or keep trying to, I don't know, succeed with the current setup. Would really uh, like to know your opinion on that one. Yeah, and this is it. That wraps up the today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, show me with a thumbs up. And yeah, if you're not a subscriber yet, I would highly appreciate to welcome you in my aquascaping family. And yeah, take care. See you next time. Peace.